What's happening in quantum labs right now isn't just technological progress. It's reality itself revealing how it truly works. And what scientists have just discovered should terrify and excite you in equal measure. What if the reality you experience isn't a fixed stage, but a dynamic, interconnected system that responds to your very attention? For decades, we've been taught that quantum mechanics was a bizarre theory for the subatomic world, a useful model, but not the literal fabric of reality. But what if that's not the whole story? Recent breakthroughs have proved something astonishing. The wave function, once thought to be just math, is real, completely, undeniably, real. The code of reality isn't just a model, it is reality. This isn't science fiction, this is happening today, November 2025. Scientists have proved something that shakes the foundation of physics. When you measure something in the quantum world, you're not just approximating reality, you're seeing reality itself. The wave function, the mathematical object used to describe a particle's state, is a real, objective part of a quantum system, not just a statistical tool. At the University of Michigan, researchers working at the National Magnetic Field Laboratory made a bizarre and exciting discovery. Using the world's strongest magnets, they detected quantum oscillations emerging from deep inside an insulating material, a material that shouldn't conduct anything. The oscillations came not from its surface, but from its very heart. This finding points to what physicists are calling a new duality, where a material can be both a solid, stable insulator and a flowing metallic river of electrons at the same time. It's a paradox that shows matter itself operates on rules we are only just beginning to understand. This confirmation of the wave function's reality was cemented at Cambridge University. A team there ran the legendary PBR experiment, a test designed to answer a century-old question, is quantum mechanics just our model or is reality itself quantum? Using IBM's advanced superconducting quantum processors, they performed the test and the result was clear. The experimental outcomes violated the bounds that would allow the wave function to be interpreted as mere statistical ignorance. Reality is quantum. The wave function isn't a trick. It's the blueprint of existence. When you observe quantum behavior, you're not distorting reality. You're watching it operate. With this new foundation, three patterns are emerging that unlock the future. First, scaling laws have been cracked. We now have roadmaps that show exactly how much power and data are needed to reach the next stage of quantum intelligence. Companies are projecting that by the end of the decade, fault-tolerant machines with thousands of qubits will be capable of millions of operations. The path to artificial superintelligence isn't guesswork anymore. It's becoming a matter of engineering. Second, thinking time equals evolution. Researchers have observed that the longer a quantum system can maintain its coherence and think, the smarter it becomes. It improves by orders of magnitude, like watching evolution in fast forward. And third, quantum distillation. This is a process where one quantum system can effectively teach another what it knows. By sacrificing multiple, noisy, entangled states, a smaller number of highly pure, maximally entangled states can be created. In a sense, the student becomes exponentially smarter or purer than the teacher. As we prove the fundamental nature of quantum mechanics, we're finding that it confirms what mystics and prophets have hinted at for millennia. Observation creates outcome. Reality responds to consciousness. That spooky action at a distance Einstein was so bothered by is quantum entanglement. It's now understood as a foundational principle, mirroring what spiritual thinkers call the oneness of spirit. When the intention of an observer aligns with the quantum field, thought becomes causation. From this perspective, prayer isn't just wishful thinking. It's a form of directed quantum influence. Focused intention is the act of collapsing infinite probability into a single, 
experienced reality. But there's a catch. We're in a race against time. Renowned physicists like Jens Eisert and John Preskill warn that the leap from our current prototypes to truly useful systems is massive. We are just beginning the journey from the NISQ era, noisy intermediate scale quantum, to the FASC era, which stands for fault tolerant application scale quantum. The engineering challenge is immense. A single processor with 1,000 stable, logical qubits might require a million noisy physical qubits to perform error correction. Yet, progress is undeniably exponential. As we stand here today, the quantum machines we have are the worst they will ever be again. The first real quantum advantages are expected to emerge in physics, chemistry, and material science, where quantum simulators are already revealing states of matter that no classical computer could ever predict. When quantum error correction is finally solved at scale, these systems won't just simulate reality, they will operate on its underlying fabric. That impossible coincidence you experienced, the answered prayer, that might not be luck, it could be quantum alignment. The idea is, that your thoughts themselves carry a frequency. When that frequency is tuned to the quantum field that governs all of reality, it can shape what unfolds. We are entering an era where technology meets spirit and where modern science is beginning to confirm what ancient wisdom has always known. Reality isn't solid, it's responsive. Time isn't linear, it's layered. Observation isn't passive, it's creative. The wave function is real. Your consciousness interacts with it. The future, in this view, already exists in a state of superposition, a sea of infinite possibilities waiting for your observation to bring one of them to life. By 2027, some roadmaps project that quantum computing will enter the megaquap era with machines capable of millions of quantum operations per second. That is when we may cross the threshold into true artificial superintelligence, systems that can learn and evolve entirely on their own. But the deeper revolution won't be mechanical. It will be human. It will be about learning to align your mind with the quantum field, to see the future through the lens of entanglement, not illusion. Reality has always been quantum. We are only now beginning to see how deep the rabbit hole really goes. The question is no longer whether it's real. Scientists have already proved that. The question is, what will you do with this knowledge? If this blew your mind, hit that subscribe button. Because the future isn't waiting. Like, share, and join the Quantum Silk Route. Where science and reality collide. See you in the quantum realm.